Hey, everybody, I'm Kelly Ellers. I'm Jeffrey Lennon. And this is Volume Up by The Tease. So Jeffrey, you know, the world of AI is here. We've talked a little <laughs> bit about it, but- Boy, is it ever. It's an article in CBS News that I have a bit of a bone to pick, if you will, if you'll humor me. Always. The article is titled, Robot Manicures and Eyelash Extensions, How AI is Attracting New Beauty Industry Customers. And the thought behind the article was basically to say, yeah, AI is here, it's gonna affect our multi-billion dollar industry, right? No surprise. But what they were saying is companies are introducing AI robots with services like eyelash treatments and manicures. And I say, heck to the no, am I ever gonna use this? Especially from a lash extension perspective, it's just too much. And the article goes on to quote, a few, you know, leaders in the space. Mm -hmm. One of them says, you know, we want these experiences to be like grabbing a cup of coffee. Right. And I say, no, we don't at all. Right. Also, like we've, we've got the experience with the machines that give coffee and often people get burned and it's a not great experience. Yeah. Yeah. And the one thing, you know, I do have eyelash extensions. I love that time. It's relaxing and, you know, something so close to your eye. I don't want a robotic arm. No. Gently applying my eyelash extensions. It's just quite (laughs) interesting. They go on to say, you know, we're not going to replace any pros. It's just going to add to their capabilities or bring new people into the industry. And yeah, that's a crock. I see it. Is there anything gentle about a robot putting an eyelash, like a no. false eye? Like I, I can't Can imagine that. No, I, like, I'm, and no. like, right, this <laughs> mechanical arm thing comes to. I, it, I I'm see. like, uh, the, the images know. that are conjured alone, let alone the actual experience, are frightening. I cannot imagine that would be something anybody would enjoy. Truthfully, let alone. I, the specialist who's being replaced by said, <laughs> how do you? Right, what? exactly. And so I say no to the AI in these particular instances in our industry, we're going to go with the pros and keep them on the pedestal where they belong. Yeah. I just keep seeing all of these people saying, why can't AI be used to do the things we don't want to do? And that seems to be okay. really like, can we not like a- admin support schedule? Like the thing, like, Let's just build on what is well understood to be needs versus <laughs> replacing human beings and making it so they can't earn their livelihood. Like I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's like move it on, shall we? <laughs> on our yes. last episode, we talked with Whitney White. Whitney is a licensed cosmetologist and one of the original pioneers in online natural hair care, black beauty, and lifestyle spaces. Her international brand, Natural Eighty Five, is a respected source with over 2.5 million followers across multiple social platforms. Building upon her successes, Whitney, along with her sister, Taffeta White, self-produced and self-funded the highly acclaimed award-winning hair product line, Melanin Hair Care. Make sure that you subscribe, rate and review, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at Read the Tease, and send in questions to volume up at thetease.com. This week, we're talking with Aga Tompkins. Aga is a celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist, certified professional beauty educator, motivational speaker, and Amika brand manager with more than 15 years of experience driving positive impact in beauty and music industries. Whether she's traveling the country, educating about beauty and authenticity, or training team members to create a solid culture of growth and success, Aga applies her passion for professional development, understanding of image, and commitment to excellence to everything she does. Talking about Excellence. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a news item that's come across our desks, uh, and it has to do with a little brand you might have heard of called Prada. Uh, oh, I've heard of them. A, yeah, teeny tiny, <laughs> you know, independent label. Nobody knows. Uh, yeah, they're getting into skincare and makeup. Uh, wow. What do you make of this, Kelly? Is this something that should have happened years ago? Is this something that shouldn't happen? I want to know your take. I don't know. I mean, it's so interesting to me why you have this obviously powerhouse brand. You're doing great things in your space. Why go into a super, super crowded space? I don't know. I I wonder what the thought is behind it. How about you? Yeah. I mean, I could not agree more with that assessment. Uh, It seems like we just covered on this podcast how celebrity beauty brands are going the way of the outro, the exit. Um, But I mean, they are a huge global brand with incredible cachet, uh, you know, the relevance. It makes sense. Like you just want to keep cashing that cow, I guess. 
Plus yeah. the sort of branding opportunities, I would imagine the packaging is going to be incredible. There's going to be Prada logo stuff all over it. And people I think are just going to lose their minds to have those items. Um, so maybe Fair. you can't afford a $3,000 bag, but you can afford a $300. That's I mean, like, let's say, yeah, yeah. I, it's going to be expensive. We all know that, but I'm, I'm excited because they, they, I mean, they are sort of so well understood in terms of an aesthetic that this I think is really cool. I don't, I don't know that we need it, but I'm, I'm glad that it's here. If that makes any sense. Yeah. And, and, you know, to quote women's wear daily, they were saying that it, it, in, it's going to provide quote real and effective products. And like, I don't know if that's a big enough POD for me. Right. Isn't that yeah. like kind of baseline? So <laughs> <laughs> savage. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying like, I, I like the idea of having like a little Prada lip balm on my desk. I don't like, that's mind where a little compact know? little. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, like you just pop that open and the look like, it's, it's, yeah, makes total right. sense. Fine. All right. Well, let's talk about things that are trending on our site. Our editorial team has been hard at work this week. I'm covering industry news, looking into trends and diving into brands that you don't know, but should. And here are some of our favorite headlines. First up, tech touch-ups for the month of, drumroll, August. How no. did we get to August? No. I, yeah, it's <laughs> like this year is just sliding by. Um, but inspired by the internet world and adapted for the beauty space, check out our monthly tech touch-ups. They're designed for stylists, makeup artists, estheticians, massage therapists, nail techs, and anyone in the beauty industry. We've created mobile phone backgrounds to infuse a bit of fun, beauty, and new into your routine. Head to the T's to pick up these August designs for your phone's tech touch-up. Easy to download. Which brings me to my question, which you know is coming, Kelly. Which of these new August tech touch-ups are you downloading? You know, I love the old school lady with the rollers underneath the dryer because I remember at my mom's salon that happened. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I aspire to be an old lady getting my hair done weekly by someone else, sitting behind a dryer, having my coffee someday. Yeah, I want that for you. Uh -huh. um, and rollers are back. So yeah, that's that's perfect. I, I don't think, think they ever left. I'm just well, that's, out that's, there. That's wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I don't mean to inflame. You're you're not wrong. I mean, it could be <laughs> argued. Um, but they're back in a bigger way, maybe. Um, all right, so that is an excellent pick. I think that I'm into the abstract one that looks a little bit like swatches with our color story. So it's our deep teasing red and the blacks like... I'm into that one. I feel like for a phone background, that's what I'm looking for. A like little bit it. of a distraction, a little bit of what is that? It'll pop the the apps. That's what I'm into. Um, oh, apps. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to pop those apps. You like <laughs> otherwise they sort of like blend it. Like it's there's a yeah. real danger, and then you don't wow. know. So I'm I'm I all learned about a new that. term. You're like a cool dad. You're cool dad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. But the T's team is keeping us up to date with these tech touch-ups. Um, and if you are downloading, we want to know which one you picked. Uh, let us know. Tag us. Screenshot that baby and let us know so we can we can see because we'd love to see it. All right. Other things that are on the tease.com. Big news from RNCO's Blue. Uh, extend golden hour with RNCO Blue's new blonded brightening shampoo and mask. Orenco Blue is having a total blonde moment with two luxurious new launches perfectly timed for summer. With its blonded brightening shampoo and mask, Orenco's more sustainably minded sister brand now does blonde illumination to perfection. Colorists repair and revive dull yellowed blondes with ultra hydrating and toning formula that was consciously created. Read thetease.com for all of the deets about this product launch. Kelly, are you obsessed as I am? I mean, I'm obsessed and always have been with their packaging. Like, I think yes. they knock it out of the park. I think it's beautiful, simplistic. I love the color stories and the products inside equally match. You know, the product matches the packaging, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. love the team over at r Co. Crushing it. Shout out to them. Great Shout thing. out to them, especially the blue team. Love to see it. Love to see the product expansion. Uh, next up, this is a big one. Uh, c and sure. Summer 2023 Nailathon boasts maximalist nail looks and product innovations. c and Summer 2023 Nailathon celebrated everything bizarre and beautiful about the world of nails. Inspired by the brand's Summer 2023 collection, Bizarre Beauty, this virtual event gave nail pros two hours of inspiring content that included unorthodox techniques and unique nail designs, as well as a rundown on the latest in c and launches. Couldn't attend CND Summer 2023 Nailathon live stream? 
We have you covered. Head to thetees.com for a detailed recap and more. Kelly, these nails are wild. Uh, you. you are partial to some nail art. I, I can't oh, yeah. necessarily go there. Would you go this extreme? You know, in an ideal world, I would love to go this extreme. <laughs> I totally think impractical. it's fantastic. And yeah. I love to celebrate our nail artists, our nail technicians. And, you know, shout out to the one and only Jan Arnold of CND, the creator, the force behind the brand. Love to see it. This article is a good one. Um, dive into it and find out what CND is up to. Uh, and there will be more coverage from them in the future. Uh, love to see. There's a new collection that is equally cool. Uh, so shout out to them. As always, so much going on at Thank you to our hardworking editors. We are proud to publish stories that salon pros and consumers care about. Be sure to hit subscribe, rate, and review, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at Read the Tease and send in questions to volume up at thetease.com. Volume Up is a Tease Media production. This episode was produced by Monica Hickey and Madeline Hickey. Brian Daly is our editor and audio engineer. And thank you to Josh Landowski and Nathan Folks for the custom volume up theme song. And thank you to our creative team for putting together the graphics for this episode.